Okay, welcome back. This is the second video in the Mills Swinging Series for beginners. Remember from the last video, the holding position of the mill, and we're gonna to show today how to lift the mill. We take a foot forward, we put our hands on the mill, okay? Onto the pommels at the end, we push them forward and move the mill around, okay? So watch again, hand to the top, slides down, push them around, we rock back and then rock forward, position the mill into place. Remember, the pinky finger goes to the bottom, the mill sits backwards. It also sits very low. Okay, very low down. From there, we do a two, we do, from here, from this position, the first work that we want to do is our four count. So if you imagine four beats to a bar, as in music, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, so we want to, if you kind of, think of the music it will help you if you have a metronome it's a good idea to get that out start using that because it will really help you keep time now before you actually start swinging the mill it's a good idea to just move forwards and backwards first okay but we want to turn so first we're gonna go one and two and three and four one two three four and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. When you can feel confident, we're gonna to turn to my right. So we go, okay? You imagine that you're swinging that way, okay? But instead, you're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. Just point your foot. One, two, three, four. You can see my footwork. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you feel confident, start the swing. Aim. Aim the mill head across the back of your body okay aim it across okay it's really important don't go straight back don't go over your head go over your shoulder that area there and let it come around and then as you bring it down bring your arm into your body but low do not let the meal touch your body it doesn't touch your body at any part okay the only time you see me with the meal on my body is either a I'm very tired or B I'm trying to lift a weight that's too heavy for me and I'm trying to get used to it okay okay so if we're going this way it will be one two three four one two three four okay Just to confuse things more, the hand which is down, the way you're turning, pushes towards the front of you. Okay, this symbolizes sword and shield. So the shield is out to protect, the sword is swinging to attack. So just like in a martial art, it's protect, strike. Okay, protect and strike. Take the meal up, we always start with the left hand. So we go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Now you look over the meal which is in front of you, your shield. Breathe out.
Okay, now, when you first start, try and go for time. Do practice sessions, you were just going straight up and back or practicing the swing. Set your clock for no more than three minutes. Practice for three minutes, rest a minute, okay? You can practice for two minutes, okay? You can practice for one minute, but just practice for time. As you get better, start practicing for what they call hands, okay? So a swing left and a swing right, that's one hand. So 50 hands is 100 reps, 50 on each side, okay? So if you wanna do 100 repetitions, okay, that's 50 each side. So mill swinging is measured in hands. So if I swing right, then left, that's one hand, okay? So 50 hands is actually 100 reps. It's 50 on both sides, okay? So once you get over being able to do, say, two or three minutes, three minutes is a good mark, once you get over that, once you get over the uh, kind of two to three minutes without stopping, then you want to go to perhaps doing 50 hands at a time or even really getting up to 100 hands. Once you're at 100 hands, you know, the weight needs to go up a little bit more. And I advise just going up a kilo really at a time. You can practice with heavier weight, sure, but not too many. The thing with the mill that I've found is that you really, really need to put the time and effort in to learn it properly. There's a lot more to the swing than just letting this piece of wood come around your body. You need to be able to control it and hold it and get the right muscles working the right way. It's not as simple as it looks. And every time I seem to master a part, there's another part that I need to get back to and relook at. So it's quite in depth, it just depends where you want to take it. Okay, so 